It's playoff time, baby. Ain't nothing gonna stop us from being world champs. It's time to show the world what we all about. All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to TGTV. So, I'm um, switching it up this time. I'm gonna do a non-live commentary. I've um, been doing a lot of live commentaries, and I just thought I might as well do one after the fact, because I know that is what some people prefer. And uh, after this video, I'd love to see some feedback in the comment. What do you guys think? Uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer seeing the live commentary, or do you prefer seeing commentary like this? And um, I'm definitely going to take that into consideration. I did one Hornets My GM as well with non-live commentary, so you'll be able to give your same feedback for that video but anyway let's get into this game as you can see we got a lineup set for the Knicks and then taking on the Miami Heat here in the conference finals which is not an easy matchup as many of you guys will probably guess um taking on LeBron Shane Battier Dwayne Wade Mario Chalmers and Chris Bosh will never be an easy task but anyway let's get into this game right here so in the first play of the game, we got the screen from Amari Stoudemire. My man Amari Stoudemire going in for the and one early on. Amari has been struggling uh, in this postseason, man. I've been mostly looking at Tyson Chandler and Jermaine O'Neal. But um, as you can see here, Amari is getting the job done for us. And he was a big player in this game. And uh, I was really looking at him for a lot of different scoring options. But I had to look for myself as well. Driving past LeBron, getting the bucket to go down low and giving us the 9-3 to lead early on. We had an early lead, really got ourselves going. And this was one of the plays that I thought was was huge for us we got ourselves to a 10 point lead with that one the huge slam thrown down hard by the cobra and we're only three minutes into this game mind you almost halfway into the first quarter i'm getting another shot right here to go getting a nice layup around chris bosh and uh, lebron and then again rising and throwing down i mean it was an offensive barrage to start this game and the heat just could not keep up up by 12 at this point lebron though you could just sometimes cannot stop lebron and uh there are a lot of players like that in this league. LeBron is the one that shows it off the most. But look at this, my 360 early on. Just not even a dribble. Under the basket, jumps up and spins. That was an unbelievable 360. And then Greg Oden's getting a little taste of what uh, can happen if you get in my way. Getting that dunk to go. Andrea Bargnani on the perimeter. Won't take it himself, so he's going to dish it over to me for the easy three. I mean, this game, this is somehow was the easiest game that we've played all uh, postseason. And we've had some pretty easy matchups that we've struggled against and uh still i mean this seems to be the team that we're doing the best against and uh throughout game one man it was just a completely dominant effort no real problems that they were giving us right there we're gonna let up a foul and i mean that just sh goes to show that like they were getting a lot of buckets just off lucky fouls um finding lucky cuts and it was just look at that right there we were toying with them at one point man end of the second quarter we're already up by 20 like that can't be happening in a playoff game especially when you're a team that's as dominant as miami heat but they catch me sleeping on defense right there and they're gonna i'm gonna allow the bucket to go in not them uh tyson chandler they're looking to give me a screen i can't get the screen but i'm gonna dish it to him inside anyway he's got the under the basket dunk and a 28 point lead man this like i said just complete show of dominance Dwayne Wade put in a point guard at this point. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. You'll see in a few minutes when Dwayne Wade gets put in a point guard. Um, they really start to pick it up. But right there, LeBron, he was facilitating perfectly, I think. Uh, he, he found Chris Bosh for a few more lobs throughout the game, which is surprising. But there they are, double-teaming me again. And I'm finding J.R. Smith this time for the open three. JR had a pretty big performance. I think he had 12 or 13 points, which, I mean, for a role player like him. Not role player, but... When you're playing on a team with, in my career, I mean, anybody besides me and Melo is a role player. So he did a very good job getting the points on the board. And throughout the series, man, I'm going to be looking to find other options besides Melo because he got injured during the Bulls series and um, in that game one. Man, and uh, I'm surprised that we were able to pick it up after because Melo was a huge part of this team. He was a huge way to get points and uh, finding other options is what we're really looking for right there. Timmy Hardaway Jr. hitting that bucket right there. We got the is that 30 yeah 32 point lead at this point now up to a 28 down to a 28 bargnani though hitting the layup and as you can see man we're up by 30 with five minutes left in the game they're not coming back during this i was content with my performance um nothing out of this world but then again still pretty good ray allen uh that was just one of the, i think four threes he hit from that point um in the fourth quarter he really went off at the end and had an unbelievable performance but uh, we're going to end right here. As you can see, we have the 23-point lead, but I'm not done yet. 
Goes with a crossover. I get the steal. And why not another 360 on the board? There's that deja vu all over again. Getting that slam to go. We got the 25-point lead. 10 seconds left in the fourth. And uh, we're going to let them grind this out for a little bit. Chalmers tries going in, but he's going to dish it over. And Adrian's getting blocked out of his mind by the Cobra. That was, I think, my third or fourth block of the game. Third block. So there are my statistics for the game. I went two for ten on threes because I was forcing threes at the end. Um, you'll see it in a minute. The turnovers are an issue. But, yeah, I, I literally jacked up seven threes in the fourth just trying to get some more three-pointers on the board. Uh, just kind of playing around. I think that's how we lost our lead, but... Um, if you take away those eight missed threes, man, it would have been so much of a closer game. I mean, uh, it would have been so much of a better field goal percentage. I don't want to say a closer game. Uh, I would have only missed like four shots in the game, but we still had an unbelievable performance. Um, still a crazy game. Ray Allen really stepped up, as you can see, man. That's just crazy. He had a sick game. Chalmers actually had a sick game, which I was responsible for, but hey, what are you going to do? So guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, make sure to check out the Madden series that's going to be having start of it at this point and uh, all the other stuff to come. My GM, my career, Madden, whatever's coming up in the future. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace. I'm out. You guys go up 1-0 with the win tonight, getting things off on the right foot in this series. How do you capitalize on that moving forward to game two? I want each and every one of the guys on this team to take that feeling we got when the final buzzer sounded and remember it. We gotta keep striving for that, and only that, every game for the rest of this series. Tasting victory once is good, but we gotta stay hungry. I ain't satisfied with just the first W, and I don't think any of the rest of my teammates are either.